This is the scenario they give you. And they say, find the gradient of the tangent of the inverse function. Now, there's a couple of ways to approach this. You can think, oh, I know how to find inverse functions. I know how to find inverse functions. All I need to do is switch the variables and then change the subject, right? So you think about that and you're like, cool, it's all right. No problems, under control. Uh-oh, <laughs> right? So you can see this is probably not going to be a helpful way. Now, read the question carefully. Read the question carefully. They don't actually want the inverse function. All they want is the gradient of the inverse function. Gradient. Gradient? How do we work out gradient? You differentiate. Now, if I differentiated this, Right? I would get dy on dx, right? And then well, I could work out what that is. But I don't want this gradient, I want the gradient of the inverse, right? Well, just like before, if I want an inverse, all you have to do is switch variables. Isn't that all it is? I've switched my y for an x and an x for a y. So if I can work out what this is, all I have to do is take the reciprocal. That's all there is to it. So, okay, where's my working? Okay. So here we go. Let's differentiate. 2e to the 2x plus 3x squared. Yep. So from that, I take it, if that's the gradient function of the original function, the gradient function of the inverse is the reciprocal of that. See? Okay? So, now I want to know at a particular value of x. I think it's 0, isn't it? When x equals 0. So then all I have to do is sub it into this, which is the derivative of the inverse. Okay? Which is, um, let's see, uh, a half.